Hi, I'm Matthew Tomaszewski of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences at the University of Illinois. And welcome to this old hall, the story of the renovation of one of the most historically significant and highly used classroom buildings on campus. This month, we're taking a look at the work that was done on Lincoln Hall over the summer. It's been a busy time, and despite record temperatures, a productive one. The three words that best describe the work done this summer, demolition, demolition, demolition. The goals for the renovation of Lincoln Hall are to preserve historical elements while creating a modern, energy-efficient learning environment. Thus, the early stages of the project have involved protecting or removing historically significant features. For instance, last spring, contractors removed dozens of doors and over 5,000 feet of wood trim, which had been carefully wrapped and sent off for refinishing. Likewise, the light fixtures have been lowered and sent off to be refurbished. The marble floors, stairs, and columns in Lincoln Hall's east entrance have been sealed off with a temporary wall so that they are unharmed during the renovation. And of course, the bust of Lincoln was removed for safekeeping before any of the work began. The demolition on the first floor is primarily intended to enable the classrooms to be reconfigured into more practical sizes. So walls are being moved and in some cases extended. The majority of the demolition work, however, is happening on the upper floors, which are being gutted and rebuilt. Workers have gutted the upper floors entirely knocking down rows of classroom and office walls. Large yellow chutes were placed in the windows on each floor so that debris could be thrown into them and slide into the awaiting dumpsters. As much material as possible is being recycled. In June, crews removed all of the 600 plus seats from the historic Lincoln Hall Theater. While the chairs will be replaced, care has been taken to preserve the ornate end caps. Crews have created a temporary entrance to the basement that allows machines inside to clear out the old cramped TA offices, the narrow corridors, and those low-hanging pipes. They've lowered the basement floor as well to make room for the new giant air handler. The demolition work well underway. Work on the preservation process has begun as well, and that includes tuck pointing. The exterior of the building is one of the key areas we're preserving, and special care is needed with professionals paying attention to the details, such as the mortaring. With us today is George Sutt, professional mason. We're taking, uh, take special care in cutting out the mortar uh, to, to a one inch depth and then uh, and make sure that we, got, that we don't damage the masonry unit itself. The head joints are somewhat consistent, but like get over here, you can, like that joint right up there, it's real narrow. That joint right there, the brick's touching the other one. Uh -huh. uh, you know, so there's a lot of variation. So with the variation, do you, do you try to, to adjust for that or is it the way that you put the, the mortar in that, that makes the difference? Well, cutting it out is what makes it Cutting count. it out. <laughs> then putting it back in does too. You know, the, the architects want to match what was there previously. The way we were tooling it is what's making it the artistic part of it. So now here we are in the fourth floor of Lincoln Hall. In this space, it's not so much about historic preservation as it is about creating a highly functional, energy efficient space. You can see that the contractors have started framing the walls and what will become offices for faculty, staff, advisors. It'll be a high student area as well. Rick, I was a, an occupant of the building before the renovation project started, and I'll be returning later as well. But um, it sure looks a lot different than what it did whenever I was in the building. And uh, could you tell me a little bit about the work that you're doing? Like, the, I see there's framing walls going in, and, and what's the process that you go through? The, the first process is just kind of getting the building squared back up and, you know, getting the layout on where the walls are actually at. And, to, and you know, then basically just start Start your frame and so Rick, whenever we were talking about this area, I remember from the drawings that this is where the TAs are probably going to be sitting. And I noticed there's these areas that have plywood over them. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about that? It's going to be a new skylight that's going to help bring light into this area where there's not as many windows. It's going to be really nice. Yeah. The work that the contractors are doing is the first step in rebuilding this grand old hall. Next month on this old hall, I'll be updating the work on the walls, the new slate roof, and other developments in this campus landmark.